Counter Zero is uh, one of the most awarded games for mobile platforms. You know, it's a term from photography when the light is from behind and everything on the front is just black. And if you look at the game, it is black and white. If you uh, listen to the music, the music is also black and white. Everything uh, just created to be the part of uh, the whole thing. It differs a lot from the other games. Most of the scenes are drawn programmatically. There are complex physics, there are a lot of moving objects, but you almost don't have any sprites, any bitmap graphics. You just uh, have uh, pure math. I was surprised when I looked at Max's code because a lot of uh, things that he was doing with rope joints and just drawing quadratic curves to the screen very smoothly gave the illusion that everything was very fluid and stringy and uh, he didn't use very many images at all. It was all kind of dynamically drawn using the Box 2D engine. So we got involved with Contradure through the Internet Explorer team. We were asked to bring this iOS game to the world of HTML5. At the beginning, I thought that it's impossible to create such a complex game in HTML5. From the start, I told that there will be no compromises at the quality. I'm pretty familiar with the Internet Explorer platform and just HTML5 in general. Really wanted to prove that we could even produce a game with this kind of fidelity in the modern browser. There's so much going on while the game is running that people don't even realize. There's so many physics spies interacting, and it takes a lot of processing power. Something that we couldn't even begin to do until this latest round of browsers. Internet Explorer has this blazingly fast, hardware-accelerated JavaScript engine. They hardware-accelerate every single pixel on the screen, uh, unlike some of the other browsers. So that really allowed us to you know, push the limits and see what we could do uh, in the casual gaming space. I think the good part of this process was really the fact that we can even do this. Like, I know it's a, that's a very broad statement, but the fact that we have the tools now and the power of browsers such as IE that can handle the complexity on any level is pretty amazing. Probably the most surprising moment was uh, when I realized that after selling everybody on the fact that we could pull this game off, that we actually did. And when I was actually getting 60 frames per second in all the modern browsers, I was like, holy f I definitely did not think we were going to get 60 frames per second. I can't even believe it. <laughs> I think HTML5 is definitely going to be a competitor for mobile games from here on out. I mean, there are definitely some good reasons why you would still use native apps, and I'm not going to try and put them down. But HTML5, like I said, you've got a much broader audience, and the big question is why not? Why wouldn't you use it when you can still get that audience while getting the crisp performance you would get on a native app without that much downtime? The future of the HTML5 won't depend on developers, but for me, it's not important what is the technology. Much more important what the mechanics, what the art, uh, what ideas do you put in the game. And if HTML5 will be good technology to bring games to large audience, I will use HTML5 and other developers will. I think many beautiful things are possible. You don't have to think about what is impossible because everything is possible. Yeah.